Eat My Dust, Henry Ford's First Race, by Monica Culling. Henry Ford liked to drive. He liked to drive into town. People got excited when they saw him. There is that crazy Henry driving his horseless buggy again, they said. Ladies ran for the sidewalk. Men leapt for cover. Dogs barked. Horses reared. Henry liked driving into town. Henry had built his car by himself. It ran on gas. It did not have brakes. Henry stopped his car by turning off the engine. Then he jumped out. Henry tied his car to a post, just like a horse, so it would not roll away. Everyone wished Henry would go back to driving a horse and buggy. But Henry loved cars and he loved driving them and he loved building them. Other people were building cars too. Their cars cost a lot of money. They always needed repairs. Since most people did not know how to drive, car owners hired drivers. Only the rich could afford to own a car. Henry had a dream. He wanted to build a car everyone could own. Henry needed money to build his dream car. How could he get it? He decided to enter a race. Henry had never raced a car in his life. Car racing was a new sport. People dressed up for a day at the races. They cheered the fastest car to victory. If I win the race, Henry told his wife Clara, I will be able to build my new car. Henry and the mechanic named Spike Spider Huff went to work. They put a 26 horsepower engine into the car. One horsepower equaled the pulling power of one horse. That way, Henry's car could beat a horse in one second, just like that. People laughed at Henry. You'll never beat the daredevil, they said. The daredevil was Alexander Winton. He was the American racing car champion. America's champion. I can beat him, said Henry. My car is built better. Clara nodded. She wanted only one thing. She wanted Henry to drive safely. The races were held at a track near Detroit, Michigan. Henry entered the 10-mile race. The prize was $1,000. 8,000 people filled the stands that day. The 10-mile race was the last race of the day. Henry and Winton were the only racers on the track. The daredevil smiled at Henry. He tipped his hat. Henry hipped it, tipped his hat and smiled. On your marks, shouted the starter. Henry gripped the steering wheel. Start your engines. Spider cranked the engine. Henry's racer roared to life. Bang! The starter pistol went off. Henry and Winton shot down the track. The crowd cheered. Most were cheering for Winton. They were sure he would win. Shoot. 
two cars raced side by side. Up ahead lay the first curve. Winton was a pro. He knew how to drive around a bend without slowing down. Henry did not. He had to cut the engine. Then he had to take a slow, wide turn. Lean out, shouted Henry. Spider stood on the running board. He leaned out. Henry took the curve. Spider's weight kept the racer from tipping over. Winton was ahead. Henry stepped on the gas. He sped down the track. His car caught up with Winton's. The cars raced around the track five more times. The racers were on their last lap. The finish line was in sight. Suddenly, black smoke covered the track. Henry could not see. Was his car in trouble? Was the engine overheating? Was the race to build his dream car over? No, Winton's car was in trouble. It was burning oil. Suddenly, the engine stalled. Winton's car rolled to a stop. Henry roared past in a cloud of dust. Yippee! He shouted with glee. The crowd went wild. Men threw their hats in the air. Women stood on their chairs to get a better view. Henry had won his first car race. Henry Ford was the new American racing car champion. The next day, Henry's name and picture were in all the newspapers. He had won the money. Extra, extra, read all about it. Ford is America's new champion. He had also won a beautiful crystal punch bowl. Clara placed the bowl on the table for visitors to see. Henry built his dream car. He called it the Model T. It came in one color, black. The Model T was easy to drive. It was easy to repair. People loved it. The people, they called it the Tin Lizzie. Henry Ford drove the his Tin Lizzie into town. People got excited when they saw him. Ladies waved, men honked. Henry was happy. He had built a car everyone could own. This is a true story. The race was held on October 10th, 1901. Henry used the prize money to build the Model T Ford. This is a photo of the actual race. Henry is just about to pass Winton. If you look closely, you can see Spider on the sideboard.